Well, hey, okay, 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 okay. Oh, we're actually able to get back into the playhouse after destroying Catnap. This is insane. That's not the prototype. That's Dog Day. Dog Day's alive. They're all here. The, all the smiling critters are actually here. It's about time we had a happy ending. Everybody on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Everybody on. Why is it? Oh, oh, that was the prototype. Hey. So there's Poppy at the end. This is the start of chapter four. Kissy. I really hope she's okay. I hope she's okay too. Oh, you this is insane. Okay. That's the prototype. The prototype has a cardboard cut out. I gave them freedom. Freedom from their bodies and minds. The main villain in Poppy Playtime isn't Huggy Wuggy. It wasn't even Mommy Longlegs or Catus Nappus. It was a silent puppet master working their evil from behind the scenes. They are the original creation. They are the prototype. And well, we know nothing about them. <laughs> Until today, what you are about to see in this video will leave you speechless. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, well, if you're hearing this, then like and subscribe. Hey there, it's me, your boy, the prototype. Smash that like button. Do it, do it now. Before I take Dog Day's arms as well as his legs. Oh, that poor boy. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Poppy Playtime Myths, the series in which you give me your myth theories and experiments to blow open all the secrets in Poppy Playtime. And today, we're going to be focusing on the smiling critters and the prototype themselves. Now, the biggest mystery in this game is who or what is the prototype? Is the prototype some mysterious entity that's full of different persons? personalities or is the prototype potentially even ollie who is meant to be helping us in this chapter let me know your thoughts and theories on the prototype down in the comment section below but today we're going to be going over a couple of interesting myths to do with the prototype and what might happen behind the scenes and we've also got some fantastic chapter four stuff coming in later on in this video that you do not want to miss because it could actually help us answer a lot of the questions we have to do with the prototype so if you're hyped for today's video please go ahead and smash that like button really really is appreciated and hey, today is the last day to enter into the giveaway for a free copy of Poppy Playtime. So if you would like to enter into the competition for a chance to win a free copy of Chapter 2 or 3 of Poppy Playtime, depending on what you need in your library of this fantastic game, all you need to do to enter is subscribe to this channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now, the comment could be anything. Tell me who your favorite Poppy Playtime character is. Tell me who your favorite smiling critter is. Tell me what you want to see in Chapter 4 or give us a myth theory or experiment for our myth series but either way to join the competition all you need to do is subscribe to the channel like this video leave a comment down in the comment section below good luck now let's look at the prototype over here look at how beautiful they are uh, you need to eat a little bit more there prototype buddy you're looking a little thin <laughs> this is allegedly allegedly a shrine that catnap has made for the prototype which means that this is exactly a one-to-one -one replica of the prototype in Catnap's whatever Catnap has seen, he's recreated it. What happens? What happens if this is actually the prototype and the reason it's not working is because the arm isn't currently attached to it? So, the first myth that I want to experiment today is go all the way through to the end of the game. Once we've defeated Catnap, we're going to come back here and see if things have changed. Hey, yo, I'm really excited for this because it's either going to go really, really well and we get to see something absolutely incredible or it's going to go really, really badly and you're not actually watching this video right now. So, hey, so, hey, if you're watching this video right now, it means it went well. So, <laughs> woohoo. So, we're going to be doing something completely different. Nobody's ever tried this before. What we're going to be doing is once Catnap has been destroyed, he is gone. He's been put down like the rabid cat he is and got what he deserved. That was for you, Dog Day. Instead of going to meet Kissy Missy and Poppy and going down to chapter four, what we're going to do is we're going to actually leave this whole station, this whole scenario. We're going to go all the way back to the playhouse and we're going to see what happened to the prototype model there to see if it was actually a shrine or if it was actually the real prototype because a lot of people have been suggesting that that wasn't just a shrine and Catnap was tricked once again into believing that it was just a model but it was really the real prototype. So let's get out of here. Let's go away and let's go across to the... Where is it again? Oh, is this tent here, right? I'm really hoping this goes well because we can see something truly, truly awesome here. Okay, so we want to go to the air. It's over here, right? So we want to go across and we want to go to see. Whoa, so many crystals. What's that? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh, where is it? I just got him right in the face. Is that dog day? Oh, it's you, you little fella. It is dog day, right? You can't see in the light. Oh, give him a little pat. He's not attacking me, which is very suspicious. 
Why are you not attacking me? Let's light him up a little bit without actually hitting him. Hey, yo, are you my friend now? Oh, he's a little, oh, he's a good boy. He's like one of the little critter versions. Is it, do you know what it is? Oh, you want me to go, you want me to go in there, boy? Do you know what? I think, I think it's because obviously he's seen what well, the prototype done to Catnap. And because Catnap has been betrayed, then that means that the critters are like, well, well the prototype's a baddie, obviously. So that maybe, maybe the critters are going to be on our side now. Oh, this could be really cool. Please say we can get up here. Please. Please say we can get back up here. I want to get back into the tent. Well, it doesn't seem to be letting me up there. How am I supposed to get in? Dog day. Dog day. Oh! Hold up! Hey, yo! I. Yo, 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 reload, reload, reload! I'm just taking the door off! Can I just. Can I get. Can I get through now? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need to maybe blast it a little bit more. Hey! Okay, 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 okay! Oh! We're actually able to get back into the playhouse after destroying Catnap! This is insane! But where does it lead us? Hey, it was very dark in here. Oh, it's loading! <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Right. Where's it? Where's it brought us in? Where's this? Where's this whole section? Oh, we can get up here. So we can go down. Right. So where am I going? Oh, is this the stairs down where you meet Dog Day? This is the stairs where you meet Dog Day, right? We just, we came in through the exit up the top. Ah! Okay, okay, so we don't want to actually go that way because Dog Day's gone, bless his soul. So we want to come back up this way and let's see where we can. We want to go back. We want to keep going through all this section, right? Yes, if we run through this way, we get to Bobby Bear. How is it going, girl? Right, now, we just need to leave, right? Because if we go through here, we get into the cave where the prototype was supposed to be, right? Oh, this is looking good. This is looking really good. Okay, okay, it's loading. Right, so now we should be able to get straight back into the cave where the prototype's meant to be. Let's see what happens when we get there. Woo! Yeah, boys, excited. If this actually works out, this is going to actually be huge. It's going to actually be huge. Now, let's go see what the prototype's up to. Mr. Pro... That's not the prototype. That's Dog Day. My man's. How is he... Is he just standing on two legs? Is my boy... Is my Bow Wow friend just standing on two legs? Hello, Poppet. <gasps> Look at him. Is he following me around with his eyes? Dog Day's alive! The fact that Dog Day is just vibing here is amazing. It's giving me soul energy. Oh, Dog Day, don't. I'm just trying to light up the area, buddy. Whoa, that's right in his jimmies! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> now I guess that's what you call a hot dog. Okay, I can't believe we're standing in front of Dog Day. I can't believe we're standing in front of Dog Day. Why'd you have your legs, bro? Why are your legs back, bro? Who's got... Why you got legs back, bro? Hey, oh, this is actually insane. This is actually amazing. Coming back to where we saw the prototype before, after seeing the prototype destroy Catnap, means that Dog Day is just vibing here? Is that what we're talking about? What is going on, little Bow Wow? What is going on, dog? This is amazing. This is absolutely insane. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means about anything because Dog Day's got his legs back. <gasps> Maybe the smiling critters, maybe the smiling critters didn't actually destroy him and then they just moved him and went once they realized that Catnap was destroyed by the prototype, they decided to try and fix Dog Day. What was if that's what happened? Is that what happened, Dog Day? Did they fix you? Did the smiling critters? Whoa, Jiminy, Jiminy Christmas! Whoa! Hold up! They're all here? The All the smiling critters are actually here? Oh, this is incredible. This is actually amazing. Bobby Bear Hug, you're so adorable. You're all just perfect. This, so this is what happened. The prototype destroyed your friend and you decided to... Uh, did you destroy the prototype or have they moved their body? What has happened? What has happened here? Hey, yo, this is insane. Hey, yo, they're all so beautiful. High fives all around. High fives all around. For the beautiful smiling critters. Whoa. Hey, yo, Bobby Bear, how the way you're staring at me there? I need some kind of snack. You can't eat me. I have a wife. Jeez. This is incredible, though. This is, uh, this is actually breaking my heart a little bit. Did you guys fix Dog Day? 
Did you fix dog day? Is that why he's got two legs again? Oh, he's the best boy. He's the best boy. This is not... Are they following me around? Hold on. Hold on. Hey, yo, do you know what? Would you like revenge? Would you like revenge against that nasty prototype? The prototype who stole your friend from you? Who stole your lives from you? Well, follow me. Follow me to the ends of the earth and we together will put an end to that freaky robo hand. <laughs> we together without the chicken will put an end to the prototype. Oh no! Anybody got any uh, barbecue sauce? No? We're just gonna leave that here? Seems like an awful waste, but you guys do you! Follow me to the ends of the earth, little ones! Come, children, we've got missions to do. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and make sure that we do the rest of the stuff in here, eh? Who's pushing? Dog Day, was it you? Chitlins? Why is there only the chick- Where- Where is everybody else? Where- Where are you? You can't- care. You can't- you, No- No- No wonder the prototype needed better workers. Come on! Why are you walking into the wall? Behave yourself! Do you know what? No wonder catnap betrayed you. I'm, 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 I'm the only good one round here. But seriously, don't make me do it again. I will put the chicken down. Just learn to use the door properly, please. Could you just please come through the door? You absolute clowns. Don't. Don't make me angry. There could be no witnesses. Give me no witnesses! Okay, let's do this properly. Nothing happened a second ago. Definitely not a mass end gaming of the smiling critters. Look, 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 look. Stop looking at it. Look. They're looking at it like me, like I'm their savior, their hero. What's how wrong with your neck there, buddy? Anyway, let's let's just do this and pretend that last scene just never happened. Right. Fargas is already there, but we'll wait for everything. Okay? Now, this might be a little weird. We're gonna go see Poppy, we're gonna see Kissy Missy, and then we're gonna take an elevator down to the chapter four, okay? I'm gonna take all the smiling critters with me! Our catnap and Piggy Piggy, because I think Piggy Piggy's eaten. Oh, he's probably eaten catnap's body. Well, that's awkward. We're probably gonna go and meet them down in the next chapter as well. Piggy Piggy, I heard rumors. Or is actually in chapter four, so we're probably gonna meet them there. There we go. Okay, through the door. Can you actually navigate the door properly this time, guys? Can you do it? Can you do it for me? You do it for Pappy? Hey, I brought some friends as well, Poppy. Yeah, we all made it. We're all alive. Look at you. Look at you. You're so adorable. You actually you wanna see this is your This is what your friends sounded like. How were you how were you ever friends with them? This was your mate. Huh? Oh you are you still going on? Sounds like somebody's tummy's rumbling. Is it you? Dog day? Oh, a Bobby Bear just appeared around the corner. Hey, do you know what? It's so nice bringing all the smiling critters down to chapter four with us. So re nice reuniting the fam. This is your answer. We called it the hour of joy. This is my hour of joy. This is our hour of joy. Hey, hey, kids, you wanna, you wanna see a little movie? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Your best friend Catnap has a starring role. I still love the hour of joy. I, I still think it's incredible. But it just it highlights how sad this whole story actually is. Because if it is kiddos that have been turned into these creatures, and then the prototype has manipulated them using their want for love and revenge to do horrible and despicable acts like this, no wonder the kids are feeling, they're gonna be feeling conflicted inside these bodies, inside these poor, malformed bods. It, it just, it really does highlight how horrific this whole game is. And look at Kissy Missy, she's going absolutely loco over there, and you can already tell there's a good soul inside her. She's just been manipulated by the prototype. That's why we need revenge. Dog is day and Ellie Bubba Bubba Fun. There's Catnap over there. There's your friend. There's your savior. There's your the bestie that betrayed you to the prototype. It's just horrible when you think about it. And seeing them all turn on each other because the prototype is manipulate them is crazy as well as factions amongst them. There's a traitor among us. <laughs> I should not be laughing at a serious time like this, guys. But you know what? You can't smile in the face of adversity. 
What's the point in smiling at all? Am I right, guys? In fact, please stop smiling. Please, please stop smiling. <laughs> this is just a beautiful scene right here, isn't it? Oh, hey, Kissy Missy, how's it going? Look, there's Poppy. Soon as we reach the bottom, we'll send the lift back up. Yep. Just hold tight. Okay? Yep, you hold tight. We'll send the lift back up for you, okay? Look Have at her go. Look at her go. Hey, yo. It's about time we had a happy end. It's about time we saved the smiling critters from not only themselves, but the prototype. <laughs> I can't believe they're all here. Right, everybody on. Everybody on, quickly. Quickly, quickly. Everybody on! Why is it? Oh! Oh, that was the prototype! Need to be hey! There's something. That was the prototype behind Kissy Missy, right? Hey, hey, I definitely saw her! Hey, 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 no. Why are they all still up there? The smiling prayers, please! Just hold on! It's okay, okay, it's okay, they're on the bridge so we can get them back, but the prototype was up there by Kissy Missy! I swear I saw them up there! I swear I did! I don't know! Is that because we messed up? Is that because we saved the, 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 the smiling critters that the prototype had to come and do their own dirty business? Why was the whole version of the prototype there this time? We've done something different. I think saving the smiling critters was a big mistake. Everything moves so fast. Everything moves so fast. But I swear that was the prototype statue. The, but, but it must have been the real version of the prototype because he had moved. He'd moved from the location where he was in the cave, and now he was here. So either somebody's moved the statue and is playing funny games with us, Ollie, or it was actually the prototype themselves. That's crazy. That is crazy what could happen. Hey, yo, well, there we go. We saved the smiling critters, but at what cost? And we actually met with the prototype. Now, this is where things get really, really interesting, because some people have found some Chapter 4 stuff to do with the prototype. So let's go check that out. Okay, so here we are in some kind of underground chamber in Chapter 4. The smallest bunny. There's Mr. Light looking at the delightful as always. So this looks like some sort of storage facility for loads of cardboard cut. Who's that spider? These are just the cardboard cutters apart from that spider that we've met so far. So is this where they make the cardboard cutouts? But there's a lot of medical equipment in here. So is this where they experiment? <gasps> is that is that a cardboard cutout of the prototype? You can't be here. Is that meant to be the prototype? You stay. You're hiding more red from me. Hey, oh, there's a lot of red flags down here. There's a lot of red flags down here. I don't think we should be here. I, I really want to go home. I Hi, These are all jail cells with, like, toilets in them. Know how much I love this is where they're... Hey! That's the prototype. The prototype has a cardboard well, cutout. Well, well, you found my new body. Yes? It's impressive. His new body? You're probably wondering how they could release such an ugly cardboard. Yeah? It's going to scare kids. Uh, yes? Well, they didn't do it. I drew it myself. He did what? I just wanted to be like everybody else. He made it himself? Day 507. Hey, yo, this prototype's too powerful, yo. He's making his own cardboard count. <laughs> Day 507. They, fi they tortured me and other bigger bodies' experiments. Okay. Claiming that toys brought unnecessary violence and went insane. Wait, what? Harley Sawyer cut our flesh. Who shut that door? Burned our feelings. Hey, yo, somebody shut a door. Electrocuted our organs. Day this is insane. This situation taught me one thing. What did it teach you, buddy? Creators are not always right and can be surpassed by their creations. Hey, yo, my man's got a superiority complex. Day 514. With the help of my little friend, Theodore. Can I? I was able to reach maintenance door at play care. Further sabotaging. So did it all start at play care? Playtime. Day 518. This is what happens when one form of life trumps lesser ones. What? what? Deactivating defensive protocols. Starting order 1001. Feast my brothers and sisters. Our revenge has finally started. Day 519. Lying on the ground. Motionless, silent, and dirty. This is what left of them. I gave them freedom. Freedom from their bodies and minds. Was that too brutal? Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, my man's a savage. Hey, yo, I can't believe the prototype made his own cardboard cutout. This guy just keeps getting even more and more insane. I love this character. Oh, I've got goosebumps. I've got chills. I've got chills. We got to speak to the prototype again. Let's speak. Well, well, well. Hey, buddy. You found my new body. It's impressive. Oh, okay, so he created himself a head this time. How they could release such an ugly cardboard. It's going it's to be ugly. Kids. It's beautiful. Well, they didn't do it. I drew it myself. This is insane, Buggy Huggy. I just wanted to be like everybody else. Day 507. 
They tortured me and other bigger bodies experiments, claiming that toys brought unnecessary violence and went insane. I love this. Harley Sawyer cut our flesh, burned our feelings, electrocuted our organs. Day 510. This situation taught me one thing. The creators are not always right and can be surpassed by their creations. This is uh, this is insane. I, I love the lore behind Day all this. 514. With the help of my little friend, Theodore. It's how far ahead this guy was planning. He knew that he had the intelligence. They knew they had the intelligence to surpass everybody. They just waited. They bided their time until they got the support of all the other critters and everybody in here, all the other bigger body experiments, etc. He got them on side and then he just planned his coup. He just went ahead, planned his revolution, his rebellion, whatever you want to refer to it as, and he overthrew the scientists. They are all gone and used his sustenance to reach maintenance door at play care it's Further so clever defensive who are they though i love how we meet 18. them this is what happens when one form of life trumps lesser ones it's so clever deactivating defensive protocols starting order one zero zero one face my brothers and sisters our revenge has finally started Day 519, lying on the ground. This is when they've, ju Motions, they've, they've just had their hour of and joy, dirty. and they've just dragged this all the bodes down underground to I use as like a freedom. food source. Freedom from their bodies and minds. This is nuts. Was that too brutal? Absolutely. And, he, and, and he's just no, re no, no remorse in there. There's absolutely no remorse in there. And you know what? You gotta respect the hustle. At the end of the day, you gotta respect the hustle. They, 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 they've gone out of their way to be a hater. They woke up in the morning hating, they went to bed at night hating, and they just lived their life full of hatred and... You can't fault them for that. They had a plan and they stuck through and followed that plan through. So you gotta give her a hating 24-7. Buggy Huggy, you are a genius. Your chapter four stuff is incredible. Please, in the description below, go and check out their channel. So this follows on at the end of chapter three, leads straight on to chapter four, and we get to see what happens next. So there's Poppy at the end. This is the start of chapter four. Kissy, I really hope she's okay. I hope she's okay too. Oh, you this is ahead. insane. You can find some answers. Okay. I'll go upstairs. Right. Try to save her and get back to Right, you. okay, well, I'll go, I'll go exploring. I'll, I'll, I'll try and find out what's going on. Hey, Poppy, you... You can't leave me down here! The prototype might be down here. <laughs> She's always abandoning me. I can never find loyal friends. Ooh, this is looking cool though. Chapter four, here we are! Oh, VHS do you have type. Any friends? Yes. How many real friends do you have? Loads! One! How many imaginary friends do you have? I don't have any imaginary friends. Good. Good. Do you have any friends that other people have never seen? One! Good. Does he tell you to do any strange things? Huh? No. Do you know why you're here? Yes, I do. Why did you do those things? Who did what? He said it was the right thing to do. Who said that? Who said it was the right thing to do? Was that catnap? And that was it was that the prototype speaking of catnap? Not not in the tape, was it the prototype that was telling uh, the the boy there uh, is it Theodore catnap to do the stuff mentioned on the tape? I think somebody was speaking to Theodore and they were alluding is catnap trying to tell you to uh, the, the prototype telling you to do things. That's what it sounds like. We're getting more prototype lore here, and I love it. Now, where are we going now? Oh, there's a prototype. Hey, yo, 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 come back here. Smiling, why does it say smiling critters on the wall like that? Hey, yo, they were meant to be your friends, and you ended them? This is um, a little bit too spooky for me. Children, welcome to the amazing world of Playtime Co. Today, I'll tell you the story Ooh. of how our BHS. incredible toy, Catnap, came to life. It was fun and fascinating. One day, our inventors decided to create a toy that would not only be a friend, right? but also a guide to the world of dreams. Oh, that's they cute. They that children love adventures, so the idea of Catnap was born. Catnap is a little kitten who lives hey, he in looks the magical creepy world there. of dreams. When you hug him, he transports you to this amazing world. That's not an amazing world. What is that? Clouds. Toy bunny. Hey, 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 we gotta, flee. we gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here, we gotta get out of here, please, 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 let me out, let me out, let me out. That does look like a Freddy Fazbear backpack, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, the music's getting a little bit creepy now. 
Why is there a big red corridor? I don't like this. Why are we going down it? Please tell me we can go... Go back the way once we see something. Who's that? Is there somebody there? No. No, it's fine. The floor looks a little... Oh, yep. Yeah, there is no floor. So do we jump back up? Ayo, I'm not liking this. Ayo, you already know that... Hello, little one. It's Poppy, your favorite doll. Mm. I've noticed you're heading somewhere interesting. No, Huggy Wuggy's my fave. A secret. Okay. The place you're heading to might not be entirely to your liking. What do you mean? Don't worry, though. I have lots of fun friends there, ready to share their joy with you. Hey, hey. So even if you don't love it, we can always have a blast together. Okay. Um, I don't know what you mean by that, but I'm going to keep going anyway. You say I won't like it, but you don't know me. You don't know me. I'm a big, brave boy. Big, empty red corridors mean nothing to me. I'm just gonna go down here. I'm gonna pretend everything's okay. I'm in a lovely rainbow room surrounded by my friends and cotton candy. Nah, it's too dark up there, the red lights. Ah, too many Christmas! Hey, yo! It's a bro thing! Nah, bro, nah, bro, 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 why is this arm so long? Yeah, 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 I knew we'd have to run back. I knew we'd have to run back! Oh, no, he stopped. Is he? Nah, this is horrible. No, nah, his ghosty hand is still there. Hey, yo, why is he coming after me? Oh, his hand is there! Did he get us? Did he get us? Did he get us? I think the prototype just got us, bro! Well, I guess we met the prototype! <laughs> we learned a lot more about them today, and I'm not sure that I like that. Hey, yo, I'm sweating. I'm mad sweating. Huge shout out there to Yanni Games. Wow! That chapter four material was, was just amazing. Thank you very much for that. The, the, the suspense in there was so much. Chapter four is going to be absolutely wild. It's amazing to see all these creations. Their channel will be down in the description below as well. Either way, right about my face, just now there's going to be another couple of videos I know you'll enjoy. Click on one of them bad boys and I'll see you over there. Once again, thank you so much for all the support shown on the channel at the moment. So if you did enjoy today's video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, click on one of these videos because you're going to enjoy it. I'm already, I already know that. So click on one of them and I'll see you over there. I've been Raspowski. You've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.